whoopsie. What is up guys, Divin here, music producer and beat maker from Berlin, and geez, it feels good to say these words. We're back, back with another beat making video, the first making a beat video I've done in ages. So I'm super excited to, you know, be here uh, in my own studio and finally make another video like this. It's been so long and I feel like I feel like this is my first YouTube video I'm ever making, but I'm very excited. And as you can tell, I've got a new studio set up. This is basically my, my dream setup. So um, I've really remodeled my entire studio. What was over there is now over here. Like my desk used to be in this spot, now it's here. And I'm very happy to, um... wait, what? You don't, you don't recognize me? Is this better? But well, let's cut the talking and get to making beats. Today we're going to make a chill, jazzy, lo-fi beat with the Machina Plus. I've been using this Machina Plus since it came out in October. I've pre-ordered it the, the moment it was announced. And if this is the first time you guys watch a video on my channel, I've been using Machina to make beats since, well, since I've been making beats. And um, I've been waiting forever for the Machina Plus to come out. It was a learning curve for me though to do everything on the device itself. So this is why there hasn't been a video yet. Another reason is my, my daughter was born almost five months ago. So I just, you know, had to shift my priorities a little bit and YouTube just wasn't. So I just had this different things to take care of first, but now I've got more time again um, and YouTube is back on my priority list. So. Without any further words, let's dive in. Let's start making a beat on the Machina Plus. Yes. Let's dive in. <laughs> dive in. Let's put a little plant here. Ah. Much better. All right, let's get started with some drums. I'm gonna use the Crate Cuts expansion for that because it's just usually where the best drums are at, coming straight from the Machina Plus. And let's start out with a little snare drum sample. So what kind of beat are we making? This could be cool. Maybe as a secondary snare. Load that in. I recently released a song called Spring in the Summer and I released it in like March, but to be honest, it wasn't really springy back then. It was just like raining and gray outside. So it was kind of bad timing for the track. So I'm just gonna do another spring themed track cause I, I was outside today and it was super nice. I was in the forest taking a walk with my wife and my our little girl and our dog. And it was just, it was just lovely. So. I think for, for today, we're just gonna do a spring vibe track, maybe called Blossoms or something like that. Let's do a really basic snare drum. Something like this is cool. And then a basic kick drum as well. Nothing too fancy. The amount spent on finding samples, am I right? This could work. All right, so let's record some basic drums. Let's check the tempo real quick. 80 sounds good. I want it to be like chill, but not too chill. I think something like that sounds good. Let's check that again. We'll leave it like that and maybe I'm gonna fine edit it a little bit later. Next up, we're gonna use one of those percussion loops, which are super nice in this Crate Cuts uh, sample pack. So I think this is pretty dope actually. Gonna load that up. Probably gonna need to mix it a bit quieter because it's usually very loud. Yeah, that's dope. I'm, I'm just gonna use that. <laughs> that's super cool. Um, let's see if we can find something for like a slower pace for a verse situation. Mm, 
I thought that one was pretty dope. Of course, also mix that in quieter. If you're here to learn something new, and anything that I'm doing here is going too fast, let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, so we got two scenes now. One goes like this. And the second one. Okay, so let's just take those two and record some then on top of it, some chords. So third group and browser, and we're gonna look into the instrument section here. Got some start already, like some faves. This could work. I'm recording those after each other because it's a bit tricky with the pads, you know. But I think this sounds cool so far. Let's add some compression to bring it out a bit more in the mix. And we might also want to try sidechain to our kick drum, which I usually do. Cool. So next up, I'm going to add some sort of secondary chord layer. So we're going to go back to the browser. That's cool. Cool. Let's save that. We don't want this to crash and get lost. Boom, boom, boom. I can already hear the bass. So let's look for a bass sound. For that, I might actually go back to one shots because there's some really decent bass one shots in the crate cuts sample pack. So I'm going to choose bass up here. Um, then analog bass. This is really cool. I really like this one but not for this track, unfortunately. Do you guys know that feeling when you're like, this is a dope sample, but I'm not gonna use it. And you're like, sorry sample, next time. No, you don't know that. It's probably just me. This is cool. I'm gonna use this for the sub. I think this one would, would be cool. This turns out to be cool. Um, it's pretty simple so far, but I like it. Whoopsie. Let's move on to the next part of the track. In case you're not watching this on your phone, you might have noticed that all of that is in mono. As I said, I'm still working on my setup here. So currently I only have a mono jack output. So I'm, you know, I'm working on it. So next video is gonna be in stereo. I'm gonna put one of those old school stickers that say in stereo on my next video. But of course, I'm also gonna play the beat to you guys at the end of the video in full in stereo. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's keep working on it. Now I do wanna add a little hi-hat. I loaded up this closed hi-hat here. It's from Crate Cuts again. It's called Closed Hi-Hat Full Circle. And it's just this like very boom bap e hi-hat. The slower part of the song. For the second half of that, I do want to add like some, some of that. So I'm gonna go to this 16 pad velocity thing where I, you know, I've got different velocity sensitivities on my 16 pads. Let's record. By the way, this little leaf over here, this guy here, this is not intentional. It's just, I got this plant up here and it's just getting in the way every time. And I thought it looked kind of vibey, so I just left it there, but it's not intentional in case you've been wondering. So next up, we're doing a little bit of a transition. For that, I've got loaded up a sample and it is called Synth C Lossy Pop. Lossy Pop, I just realized that sounds like Lollipop. <laughs> It's from the Faded Reels expansion pack. It's a one shot and it sounds like this. Well, it sounds like this with the delay that I already put on top. 
So we've got a beat delay on there, a time set to 16. I'm gonna increase the feedback a little bit and you can kind of see where this is going. This is gonna be one of those arpeggiators. I call them magic arp, I've said it before and um, I'll say it again, magic arp, magic carp, get it? <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna use the note repeat function so we get this situation going. So let's record. Yeah. Next up, some synth. All right. And again, it's a little bit complicated, but it works. Had to change the chords to major, so I had to pause in between again. Um, there you go. Pattern length to two bars, and let's go. Second chord. So last up for this video, before I do some arranging and some editing and maybe some secret sauce, last thing I wanna do on camera is add an ambient sample. So for that, I'm gonna open up a new group, go to sampling and then select external mono, input left, because that's where my iPad is hooked up to. I'm gonna choose free length because I don't know how long I'm gonna record for. And then of course, monitoring on so I can hear what we're hearing. So my initial thought was to add some Bs because the track is supposed to be called, what was it? Oh yeah, because the track was supposed to be called Blossoms. My go-to page for any types of samples is freesound.org. You just find tons of cool stuff, tons of free recordings which are free to use. Most of them are. And <laughs> what I found um, was terrifying. <laughs> Turns out Bs are not the perfect match for lo-fi chill beats to relax to. So I decided to choose some good old fashioned bird sounds. I'm gonna push start on the machine, start our sample on the iPad, and, and then we're gonna sample birds from the internet into the machine. Technology. We just need to wait for, you know, a couple of, depending on how long we wanna sample. Perfect. Let's do some arrangement. So from here, I usually take it to my computer because um, I want to add some, you know, some plugins and make it a bit more warbly. Yeah, even more warbly add some master compression and so on, so on, so on. And for that, I've just got my custom workflow. So I have not really found a way to do that fully in Machina Plus, um, but you know, I'm doing it everything like 85% in Machina Plus at this point. Um, so let's just, you know, switch this one off, shut it down, save it, of course. And then we can just take the SD card, slide it into my MacBook, and you know, keep working here. It's not super interesting. So from here on, I'm just gonna show you the final result and that's it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for more beat making videos. I promise this is what this channel is gonna be all about again from now on, beat making videos, beat making videos and beat making videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully very soon. Until then, stay safe, enjoy your day and enjoy the beat. Peace.